Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle. And today we're gonna to take a ride in a classic Mercedes Benz. And I'm not talking about this one, I'm talking about an old school classic. I'm talking about a 125 year old 1885 Benz right here on Planet Vehicle. We're standing outside of the German American Heritage Museum. They are having an exhibit through May 29th. It's called The Star and the Laurel, The Birth of the Automobile. Now, everybody knows about the greatness and the fineness and the refinement and the luxury of the uh, Mercedes-Benz, but what some people may not know is that the Mercedes-Benz was the first automobile and it started in 1885. Now, Rudy Lentz knows because he's the executive director of the German-American Heritage Museum. How you doing, sir? Thank you for having me. Hi, well, thanks Alan. for being here. So now, you are holding an exhibit. Oh, I've got my own mic, okay, so you good. got your own. Everybody's you. got their own. He gets his own microphone. <laughs> Thank you. Because I want people to understand that, A, the first car was a Mercedes, and secondly, it's been 125 years, and you have an exhibit which is going on between now and May 9th, which talks about that. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful story to tell. It's a fascinating story on how the first cars were invented in Germany. Many people think that the Americans invented the car, but it was really in Germany. Mm -hmm. But the Americans popularized it. They, they, so to speak, they invented the mass production with Henry Ford. That's right. They made it affordable for normal people. That's true. Before it was a luxury good. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, the first car was not a Mercedes because the brand was Benz at that time. Gotcha. He invented it. And Mercedes, the car, Carl Benz. Right. And the cars were later mm -hmm. named after the daughter of a very rich and famous salesman Mercedes. who named yes. his, his racing car after his beloved daughter, Mercedes. So they made and it a Mercedes. And it later on became his Mercedes, Mercedes brand right. because it was so popular in these times. Ah, so it's a good thing her name wasn't Trudy or Gertrude. Oh yeah, I think Mercedes <laughs> is much better. That Gertrude sounds a lot better. Car, well, you know, it's, be now here's what's ironic, because a good. lot of times people will laugh at folks who named their daughter Mercedes saying, yeah. okay, you're naming your child after a car you cannot afford. But it's actually the opposite the way, way around. around. The Mercedes was named after a daughter. And Elvin, it became so popular that this guy called Emil Jelinek, Jelinek was an Austrian, he renamed himself later on in Jelinek Mercedes. Get because, out of here. You know. Because it just became so popular. Yeah, he, he wanted to be more popular. Now, we have behind me, it's a replica of the 1885 yeah. Benz. Yeah. Now, this thing actually works. It still works. I mean, it's a replica, which means you can drive it. Mm -hmm. It has the same conditions, working condition, goes up to 50 miles per hour. Oh, really? Has no reverse, makes it a little bit difficult to handle. Right. And you know, the steering was not yet invented, so it was only by, by having it here, up here, which is very difficult. Right. One wheel, but not a coaxial steering, which came later. So it's almost like they took a bicycle that is empowered right. it and the just did it that way. The was the forerunner of the car mm. because it already had sort of the structure. Right. Now I see no no seat belts. No seat, no cover. No I cover. Mean, the first ride with that car, the first long trip was done by the wife of Carl Benz, Goethe Benz, uh -huh. in 1888. Right. About 90 miles uh -huh. to a town south of Mannheim. That was an adventure. You can't imagine how difficult that was. Wow. So now, let me ask you, here's the question I want to know. Yeah. Can I take a ride in this Mercedes-Benz? I should say on this Mercedes-Benz. On this Benz, Benz. Right. Uh, but Elvin, no problem, I think, but you need a little introduction in how to handle it. Okay. Because it's differently handled from every other car you know. But we have a tech, and he will show you, and okay. you will ride it yourself. Okay, no, you know what, here's what, I, I'll let him drive, because I don't think my insurance okay. will cover we'll this. Cover it. But right. we're gonna take a ride in the 1885 Mercedes-Benz. You ready? All right, let's go. This is a Benz, the original Benz. This is an old school Benz. So when I'm talking Mercedes Benz, we're talking Benz, aren't we? We're talking very We're talking old. Benz. Now, oh, see, I see you, uh-oh, uh-oh, can we make it? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there's no reverse on this thing, so we just gotta go. So we are rolling in the Benzo, the original Benzo. There you go. 125 years of Mercedes. Now there's no reverse, right? So you just gotta, so we just pull it back, yeah. There you go. There you go. There we go. We'll do 
one more loop. Do one more loop. Okay, here we go. We're taking a ride in the bin for 125 years. Mercedes. Would you like me? You ever heard that song by Pebbles? Yeah. Yeah. Pebbles had a song. It was called Would You Like to Ride in My Mercedes Boy? Curtis Bay, remember the old songs? Curtis goes, Ladies, Mercedes. Here it is, the Mercedes Benz. 125 years. This is so cool. Now, how many horsepower does this thing have? It's only got three quarters of a horsepower. Three quarters of a horsepower. Yeah. You couldn't even get a real horse. It's just like a pony. It's not even one horse. It's like a, a three quarters of a horse. But cool. you don't have to feed it, so that's the nice part. That's true. That's true. Now, let's talk about the engine. Yep. Little one cylinder, about mm -hmm. uh, I think 80 cubic inches. Wow. And uh, three quarters of horsepower, mm. double drive. Simple, but it works. Now this is a replica. It's a replica. Now is there any of the original still around after 125 There's years? There's only one original. One and original. That's the one in Germany. Okay. And this was made in 1885, right? 86. 86. It was okay. Patented January 29, 1886. Wow. 85, yeah, built in 85, built in patent, five, in patent in 86. So here it is. When you're talking about a Mercedes Benz, a classic Benz, you cannot get more classic than this. We're Planet Vehicle. I'm Alvin Jones.